Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, we are going through um, Exodus right now, and we are talking about the ten plagues. We are starting the eighth plague today, which is on, uh, which is the locust. Um, we're taking that in two episodes. Today I want to talk about, it's called Egypt is Ruined, but I'm still holding on, or hanging on. Um, you're going to see uh, Pharaoh, he just doesn't give up, okay? And God, it says God hardened his heart. And we've talked about this before. It wasn't like Pharaoh's just an innocent guy, uh, but he had a hard heart already, and God was like making it like a rock. Um, because his heart was so hard. He wasn't. He said at the beginning of the whole ordeal, mm, I don't know God. Well, he's getting to know God really well here uh, with us and the judgment of God. So today I want to read from Exodus chapter 10, verses 1 through 7. Okay? So you can follow along in your Bibles here. Let's read. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his officials so that I may perform the signs of mine among them, that you may tell your children and grandchildren how I dealt harshly with the Egyptians, and how I performed for, perform my signs among them, and that you may know that I am the Lord. Okay, so here uh, God is saying he's hardened not only Pharaoh's heart, but the officials' hearts also, um, the Egyptian officials. And we talked about this before, Egypt is known today as having the ten plagues come against it. But God was not only having setting that reputation um, in order, but he was also doing this to show how great a God he was, and, the, and he was going to continue on with these ten plagues to show the power God has for the um, Israelite people. Okay, the people of Israel would know for generations, and they were to tell their uh, generations about how great God was by what these, what He did to get them uh, released from Egypt. All right. So, verse three. So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said to him, "This is what the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, says: How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go, so that they may worship me." If you refuse to let them go, I will bring locusts into your country tomorrow. They will cover the face of the ground so that you cannot be seen. They will devour what little you have left after the hail, including every tree that is growing in your fields. They will fill your houses and those of all your officials and all the Egyptians, something neither you, your parents nor your ancestors have ever seen um, till this day. And they are settling in the land now. Then Moses turned and left Pharaoh. Pharaoh's officials said to him, How long will this man be a snare to us? Let the people go so that they may worship the Lord their God. Do you not realize that Egypt is ruined? That last sentence there that the officials are saying to Pharaoh, Do you not realize that Egypt is ruined? Okay, we've talked about the, the plagues earlier on were they were just kind of a nuisance now these plagues are pretty serious and they're basically destroying the food um, that's happening that, that would happen here we had talked uh, in the past episodes here about uh, the hail and the hail was would destroy any animals that weren't brought in uh, and protected and also the crops well now with the locusts coming along any crops that are left the locusts are going to eat up. Okay, so there will be nothing left except the the crops that are like growing from the seed right now, and they will you know blossom in, in a short time. But those are that will be the only thing left. So basically, the food sources are being destroyed here, and so that's get, that gets the attention of the people here, and that's why they're saying, "Don't you realize Egypt is destroyed?" You know, and you're just letting this go on. And uh, we're like that uh, sometimes, too. We're living in sin. And remember, Egypt is um, symbolic of the world. We're holding on to the evil in, in Egypt. And, and we're holding on to the world, not wanting to let it go. And we're seeing how our lives are destroyed by it. And we're still holding on to what the world has to offer and not... 
surrendering to God. And uh, that's that's what we can learn from this whole thing here, is we have to surrender to God and not hold on to Egypt. And Pharaoh, he was doing the exact opposite. He was not going to surrender to God. He was going to hold on um, to Egypt. And there's going to be nothing left uh, pretty soon here. So thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Exodus. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.